What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. It's time to talk about Billy Donovan. It's time to talk about whether or not you think he should be fired from the Chicago Bulls head coach position or not. Now at the end of the day, I must say that despite what many people's answers are going to be, whether it's yes, he should be fired on the spot as we speak, or no, he should be given more time, I think one thing that has to be unanimously, unanimously, I guess, mentioned is that just because Billy Donovan is kind of struggling as the head coach now for the Chicago Bulls, in no way, shape, or form is he entirely to blame. He does have some blame attached to his name, and that's why we are making this video at the end of the day. But the players will also have to take full responsibility as well for their efforts in getting Billy Donovan out of the door if it ends up happening this season. So we'll be discussing that in this video. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Chicago Bulls and whether or not you see Billy Donovan being fired relatively soon. And who do you think he will be replaced by if that is going to be if your answer is yes. Or if your answer is no, explain why you think Billy Donovan will get more time as the Chicago Bulls head coach. And before I get any further, I want to talk about Zach Levine for a little bit because... When I made my game reaction, I obviously didn't know a lot about the comments that he said about being benched in the fourth quarter. And at the end of the day, he kind of was very upset that, that he didn't play in the fourth quarter and that you have to play your superstars, play the guys that do what they do down the stretch. I stand by the, my opinion in saying I agree that Zach Levine should have been benched in that game. Because let's be real, if Zach Levine was not benched in that game, then at the end of the day, he hurt us more than he helped us. So it wouldn't even be able to go to a buzzer beater decision by the Orlando Magic if we kept Zach Levine in that game. It's as simple as that in my opinion. Sometimes you've got to learn when it's your, not your night. And again, maybe in terms of the last 20 seconds, he could have been in there for free throws. Maybe that's a mistake by Billy Donovan. But benching him in the fourth quarter was not a mistake. And that is something whether he gets fired or not, I will stand by Billy Donovan and that decision. Sometimes you just don't deserve to end the game. And Zach Levine had his worst game of his entire career. He didn't deserve to finish the game, no matter how much money he was getting paid and I fully stand by Billy Donovan in terms of that decision that he made and at the end of the day if Zach Levine plays better then Zach Levine will play better down the stretch the ball is in his court he has to deliver and if he delivers he will get that respect he deserves he will play in the final minutes of the game and he might be able to make the difference but if you don't play like that for the whole game why would you expect to be put in there in the final two minutes you're not always going to be the hero every single night ladies and gentlemen at that game he hurt us more than he helped us. And I honestly truly think if we kept him in that fourth quarter, we would not be talking about a buzzer beater decision. We'd be talking about a Bulls loss that was around probably six to seven points. And again, very disappointing performance overall. But let's turn to Billy Donovan. As I mentioned before, it's not all Billy Donovan's fault. I believe players have to take responsibility as, again, every single coaching staff that gets fired, it's partly on the players. The players, at the end of the day, have to go out and execute the game plan. And get, whether it's willingly or unwillingly, some players just decide not to do so. Some players just don't understand the game plan. Some players just don't agree to follow. But I do think at the end of the day, when it comes to a coaching staff, those players should know that it's their responsibility as well. I rec recently, when Steve uh, Nash got fired from the Brooklyn Nets, there were not many people saying that I take full responsibility or I take any sort of responsibility as to why Steve Nash got fired. They essentially just threw him under the bus, basically. And not many people took responsibility saying, look, I, I shared blame for why Steve Nash got fired and everything of that nature. And I don't think that has, I don't think that can happen with the Bulls because realistically, this team is playing part if Billy Donovan does get fired. Some players have not performed well. Some players haven't stepped up according to the way that we want. Some of our offense has been very stagnant. Billy Donovan can't do everything for us. Billy Donovan can't put on a uniform and play the way that he wants us to be coached every single game. The players will have to come out and execute. And if a coaching staff gets fired for their lack of results, then at the end of the day, the players will take some responsibility as well. And I think that's just a very basic knowledge in terms of when coaching staffs get hired and fired from a team. But essentially... If the whole team is not gelling well together, and if a whole team is not bought into the system, you can't get rid of every single player before you get rid of the head coach. 
And unfortunately, it may be, I, I guess, undeserving. For many people, it is undeserving. I, I, I believe personally he does deserve to get fired, in all honesty, with his really bad rotations and everything like that. But I personally feel that the coaches are always usually the ones to go because it's easier to get rid of the coach and try something new than to get rid of 11 players on this team and start fresh. And at the end of the day, I just see that direction being, I guess, being pursued by the Chicago Bulls. But personally, is it time for him to go? I think his last game against the Orlando Magic, that's where I kind of crossed the line because I was begging Billy Donovan again. I was recently supporting Billy Donovan, asking him and begging him to make changes to this team. I wanted to see changes in the starting lineup because we literally have nothing left to lose. We're losing, I get we've won one of our last seven games. What else do we have to lose by trying something else? We're still losing anyway. What's the point in talking about our offense and our spacing and everything like that and how our offense will become stagnant if guys like Andre Drummond play or the energy is a big issue if you take Io out of the starting lineup and everything like that? What's the point when our offense is already bad and our defense has been solid, but for the most part, again, there are so certain moments when it's been horrific. So, Again, the experiments are something I needed to see. And that last game against Orlando, when I saw the exact same team, I felt devastated. And at the end of the day, that kind of drew the line for me. So personally, I say I'm kind of over the coaching staff of Billy Donovan. I do think Billy Donovan needs to get fired. And it's going to take a lot for him to prove me wrong again, if he can ever change my mind on that. And again, I've stuck with him for a long time. And I do believe it's hard. It's really, really hard to go against Billy Donovan right now because I think Billy Donovan is a good coach. I really 100% do. He may not be the best coach out there. He's obviously not going to be a championship coach for the Chicago Bulls for the most part. But I truly believe he's a good coach. And I don't care what anybody says. He's been the best coach we've had in years. He's been the best coach we've had since Tom Thibodeau. Fred Hoiberg wasn't necessarily the best coach for the Chicago Bulls. And we don't even need to talk about Jim Boylan. He was horrific for the Chicago Bulls. Billy Donovan has been a very good coach. I just don't believe he's the right coach right now. I think he's got us to a certain point. We've exceeded our level or we're at the level, the top level that we can be. Now it's time for someone else to give it a try. And then if the second coach ends up failing on this team, then maybe it is time to ask questions about trading a lot of players and starting again. I don't see the Bulls trading every single person. I don't see the Bulls trading DeMar. I don't see the Bulls trading Zach. I don't see the Bulls trading Vooch. I don't see the Bulls trading Patrick or I. I don't see them trading any of these guys until Lonzo Ball returns and until we maybe try something different with a new coaching staff if it gets to that point. But yes, I do believe my, I guess my faith in Billy Donovan has completely gone. And I don't know if he can get it back or not. But let's say we go on a six-game winning streak. Maybe my faith will be reinstilled in Billy Donovan. If he makes the changes that we've been asking for and things work out, then maybe my faith in Billy Donovan will begin to be restored once again. And also, you got to realize that Billy Donovan probably won't get fired even if you want him to. Personally, my faith is gone. If I had the chance today, I would try a different regime. I would try a different coaching staff. But I don't see Billy going anytime soon. I really sincerely don't. I don't see Billy getting the sack anytime soon. So as much as I have lost faith, and many of you guys have lost faith... I don't think the, um, the front office has lost faith in Billy Donovan. And that's pretty much the most, the only thing that really matters because they make the final decisions. And as much as we can agree with it or disagree with it, it's going to be up to them whether or not Billy Donovan does get fired. But all things considered, we've got a lot of games out west now, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a big West Coast trip coming up. We've got a game against Milwaukee on that pit stop. And obviously, we've got this game against Boston coming up as well. This is going to be a testing time for the Chicago Bulls. And we've seen already how frustrating we can be when we're at our lowest. The question is, during this West Coast trip, during this away trip for the Chicago Bulls, are they going to gel together? Are they finally going to fight? Are they going to stick together? Or are we going to see one of the worst West Coast trips we could possibly see? And then I think 100% of people, including the front office, will probably believe it's time to switch something up. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys decide that in the comments. But that's my situation on Billy Donovan. To sum things up, because it has been a relatively longer video, I personally believe players have to take responsibility for when coaching staff get sacked. It's not all on the players. 
But if everybody is saying it's all Billy Donovan's fault, that is simply, in my opinion, not true. In every single coaching staff that gets fired, they have players have to take responsibility for that as well, as they are part of the reason why Billy Donovan will end up getting the sack if he gets the sack. And all things considered after that, I believe my faith in Billy Donovan has gone. And I don't know what it will take to bring me back to believing in Billy Donovan again. And I also think even if I even if I have lost faith, which I have in Billy Donovan, I don't see him getting fired anytime soon. So those are the things that I think will end up being the case for the Chicago Bulls in the immediate future. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful and safe day, all of you guys out there in Bulls Nation. Stay strong, ladies and gentlemen. The pain is not going to last forever. We will see a brighter side of the Chicago Bulls, even if it's not straight away, even if we have to suffer through more. Just keep your heads up and hopefully we'll see something better in the future. That's what we all want to see and hopefully someone from this Bulls team will be able to provide it. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.